The Fairy Barracuda was an interesting and unique design. The unusual shoulder wing cantilever monoplane was the first of its type operated by the Royal Navy Fleet Era to be fabricated entirely of metal. Designed to replace the Fairy Swordfish and Fairy Albacore, it would be built in significant numbers throughout the Second World War and used in both the European and Pacific theatres of war. The Barracuda was designed in response to the 1937 Air Ministry specification S2437. Bristol, Blackburn, Hawker, Vickers and Westland all submitted designs. In July 1938, Ferry along with Supermarine received orders for two prototypes to be built. Ferry originally envisioned that the Barracuda would be powered by the 1200 horsepower Rolls-Royce 24-cylinder X engine. However, in August 1939, Rolls-Royce halted the development of this engine and in the following year the project was cancelled. The Barracuda prototype was delayed as Ferry changed the engine to the lower powered 12 cylinder Rolls Royce Merlin 30 engine. Then on the 7th of December 1940, the Barracuda took to the air for the first time. The first prototype differed from production versions and had a conventional tail similar to its predecessor, the Albacore. The wings contained large Ferry Youngman flaps and when at a negative angle, created an air wake that caused tail buffeting, loss of elevator effectiveness, and vibration at high speeds. A major redesign of the tailplane was undertaken, and the tail was changed to a strut-based tailplane mounted high up on a taller, narrower fin. This was implemented on the second prototype, and all production types. Testing began, and it was quickly realised that the Barracuda had significantly greater performance than its ancestors in the Albacore and Swordfish. It could reach speeds of 269 miles per hour at 9,000 feet, whereas the swordfish could only manage 138 miles per hour and the Albacore 169 miles per hour. However, by now priority had been given to build fighters and bombers, and thus work on the Barracuda slowed. The Admiralty intervened when the Ministry of Aircraft Production and arranged for the Barracuda to be put into full production for the Royal Navy. On May 18th and 19th, the first prototype was loaned to number 788 Squadron to conduct deck landing trials aboard HMS Victorious. Afterwards, it was returned to Ferry and the new tail unit fitted to it. Then on the 29th of June 1941, with the new tail plane, the second prototype took to the air for the first time. In October, handling trials were conducted at the Aircraft Armament Experimental Establishment at Boscombe Downs. Unserviceability and modifications caused delay, but finally in February 1942, the aircraft was completed. It was now that a major problem with the Barracuda was found. Due to additional equipment and strengthening of the fuselage that was never required in the original specification, the aircraft became overweight. Thus, the takeoff and climb performance was severely hampered. As a result, only 13 production Mark 1s were built with the Merlin 30 engine. Subsequent production aircraft had a Merlin 32 engine that provided some 30% increase in rated output and a four blade propeller and were known as the Barracuda Mark 2s. The Mark IIs would be the major production version, with some 1,688 being built by the end of the war. By November 1941, some orders for 1,050 Barracudas had been placed, and production was given to Blackburn, Bolton Paul, and Westland. Westland only built 5 Mark Ones and 13 Mark IIs, before the 232 order was cancelled to allow Westland to build the Supermarine Seafires. During January 1943, the first Barracudas were delivered when number 827 reforming at Streeton received 12 Barracuda Mark IIs. The first action came in September 1943 when Barracudas from HMS Illustrious were involved in the Allied landings at Salerno, Italy. The Mark III Barracuda evolved and the prototype, a Bolton Paul Mark II Barracuda, was pulled off the production line and fitted with an ASV radar in a blister dome beneath the rear fuselage and first flown in 1943. Production of Mark III started in early 1944 and a total of 852 will be built by both Bolton, Paul and Ferry. By January 1944, 12 squadrons had been re-equipped with Barracudas. In April that year, numbers 810 and 847 squadron operating from HMS Illustrious introduced the Barracuda to the Pacific Theater of War when they supported US Navy dive bombing attacks on Japanese installations in Sumatra. The moment of fame for the Barracuda came in April 1944 when it was utilised in a major raid on the German battleship Tirpitz. On the 3rd of April, the fleet air arm from six aircraft carriers launched 42 Barracudas and 80 escorting fighters to attack the battleship 
by Ankin in Carforge, Norway. 15 direct hits were scored, putting the battleship out for at least two months, and only three Barracudas and one fighter were lost. Throughout European operations, the Barracuda also flew anti-submarine patrols from small escort carriers using rocket-assisted takeoff. The Mark IV became a cancelled project. The Mark V was the final production version and was slow to develop. It had a similar structure to the previous version, but looked completely different. The engine was upgraded to the Rolls-Royce Griffin 37, and when first taken to the air on the 16th of November 1944, was a converted ferry-built Mark II. 140 Mark Vs were ordered, but only 30 delivered before production was cancelled at the war's end. It never saw frontline service, and was only used for training and other secondary combat duties. Late in the war, there was a series of fatal accidents due to the leaking of hydraulic fluid, producing ether fumes and disabling the pilot. This was fixed by making the wearing of oxygen masks compulsory while flying the aircraft. The Barracuda's final mission was flown in Hong Kong on the 1st of September 1945. Following the end of the war, the Barracuda was quickly taken out of action, with most squadrons disbanding or being re-equipped. The last Barracuda in frontline service were replaced by TBM Avengers in 1953. The Royal Canadian Navy and the Dutch in exile used the Barracuda throughout the war and the French Air Force after the war. The Barracuda was an effective plane and critical to the British war effort. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to go click that like button below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. If you have any thoughts or comments on the Barracuda, put them in the comment section below.